ever wondered how you can easily tell male and female northern cardinals apart? It's actually pretty simple. From their different colors to their roles in the nest, we're breaking down the six differences to know about male and female northern cardinals. Let's dive into the video, but first please like and subscribe if you haven't yet. It really helps the channel. Appearance. When it comes to their appearance, male and female northern cardinals have some pretty distinct features that make them pretty easy to tell apart. One is their color. The most striking difference is the color of their feathers. Males are famous for their bright red feathers, which really make them stand out at the feeder. This vibrant color helps them attract a female and mark their territory. On the other hand, females have a more subtle look with pale brown feathers that have hints of red on the wings, tail, and crest. This softer color tone actually works in their favor, giving them better camouflage, especially when they're nesting and need to stay hidden from predators. Their beaks. A less noticeable visual clue is the color of their beaks. Both male and female cardinals have those signature short and thick beaks, perfect for cracking seeds. But if you look closely, you'll notice that the male's beak is a bright orange red, while the female's beak tends to be more of a muted orange. Size. Now this one's a bit harder to notice, but it's still worth mentioning. Males are typically a bit larger and more robust than females. The size difference might not jump out at you immediately, but if you have a pair in view side by side, you'll see that the male looks a bit stockier compared to the female. It's another minor detail that sets them apart and one that most people don't notice. Beyond just looks, there are some interesting behavioral differences between male and female northern cardinals that are pretty cool to know about. Singing. One of the easiest ways to tell them apart by behavior is through their singing. Both sexes do sing, but males are definitely the more frequent singers, especially during the breeding season. Their songs are all about attracting mates and warning off other males in their territory. Females keep it more low key. Their songs are generally softer and not as frequent, more about communication with their mate or keeping an eye on things around the nest. Defending the territory. Males are the fighters when it comes to the territory. They can get aggressive when needed, chasing off rival males or putting on displays to defend the nest. Females usually stay focused on nesting and caring for the young. They might get involved in defending the nest if necessary, but they leave most of the territorial battles to the males. Nesting behavior. When it comes to cardinal nesting behaviors, both males and females play specific roles that complement each other perfectly. The male usually gathers the materials and keeps an eye out for potential threats around the nesting area. Once the nest is ready, the female takes over from there, doing most of the work building the nest and incubating the eggs. When the chicks hatch, both parents pitch in to feed them. The male often takes the lead on foraging for food, especially right after the chicks are born, so the female can stay close to the nest and keep the little ones safe. While male and female northern cardinals share so many similarities, the differences in appearance and behavior make them easy to distinguish once you know what to look for. Some species, like blue jays for example, the male and female look almost identical to one another making it near impossible to tell them apart. 
If you enjoyed learning about these beautiful birds and want to see more content like this, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. It really helps our channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.